Once again, it's time for the Starfall tournament to resume. Hello and welcome. This is a what-if scenario based on Sonic Frontiers, where we see what would have happened if the End used a tournament to set itself free from its Starfall prison. Today we're going to see two battles against powerful opponents, so keep your fingers crossed for the characters you want to win. If you do enjoy this video and want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe so that you keep up to date with whenever I drop something new. And if you want to support this series, please share it around with people you think will enjoy it so that others can come in and enjoy the fun. Let's get on with the video. A dark cloud of smoke lingers over the arena still. Everyone looks eagerly waiting to see who emerges from the dust. A silhouette appears on one side, quilled and spiky. In this instance, it does very little to determine who is emerging. Amy focuses in, waiting for the moment to see that streak of blue and cheesy grin. Except, emerging from the smoke cloud is a grim glare. Shadow seems to have won. Amy's eyes begin to water and she drops to her knees, defeated. Cream walks over to try and comfort her, but she's also slightly saddened at seeing one of her friends not make it. Shadow decides to keep his distance from them for now, and so ends up beside Silver instead. Man, it's hard to believe that Sonic is gone. Shadow is contemplating the match he just had with his blue rival. I'm not so sure. What do you mean? You won! I didn't. He faded away before either of us could finish things. What? How is that possible? It seems there's more going on than meets the eye. I'll keep that in mind. With the dust settled, it's clear that the arena is going to need a repair. Huge masses of earth and stone, glassed over from sheer amounts of heat, and scattered with splinterings of their previous shelves, represent what should be a clean arena. And so, the end reconstructs it, moving pieces back together until a suitable surface once again remains. With the cleanup out of the way, it proceeds to announce the next match will be between Amy and Zavok. The big red zetti clicks his knuckles, mm, back into the ring. <laughs> Go show him what's for, boss! Zaz encourages. Xena gives her thoughts too. I doubt it's going to be much of a challenge for you. Hmm. <laughs> when is it ever? Zavok takes his stride and leaps into the ring. Amy, on the other hand, is less eager to get into a fight right now. Cream tries to get Amy onto her feet, gently shaking her and telling her that her name's been called, but she doesn't seem very responsive. Zavok rolls his eyes. Get up, brat! I will not have my time wasted by your moping. Amy's eyes flicker up towards Zavok, hatred spewing forth from them as she grips her hammer and begins to get to her feet. Yeah, you're right, I shouldn't be moping. It's time for some shock therapy! As she slings her hammer over her shoulder and stomps towards the arena herself. Once she arrives, she points her Pico Pico hammer towards the Zeti. I'm gonna beat you into the ground! Oh, that would be a first. Amy calls out as she leaps towards Zavok and goes for an overhead swing with the hammer. He simply raises one of his arms to block the strike and then pushes her away. Hmm, how basic. Do you seriously believe you have a chance against me? Amy finds her bearing and charges in for another swing. I have nothing to say to you. Her hammer arcs up from below to try and strike Zavok in the chin, but he simply steps to the side and once again pushes Amy away. Hmm. I will crush you like that blue rodent. Amy's eyes flare up again and she spins her hammer around like a top to her side, charging towards Zavok. Shut up! He purposely backhands the hammer swing, causing it to thud knocking Amy off her balance and allowing him to push her in the chest with an open palm, sending her tumbling away once more, this time onto the floor. As she gets herself up, Zavok sees this as the prime opportunity for some psychological warfare. You're undisciplined, in a frenzy over the loss of a comrade. 
How were you ever considered a leader? And he opens out his arm tauntingly. Amy retorts, I led with compassion and understanding. Together we would overcome any threat. We made each other better. Something you wouldn't understand. Amy runs towards Zavok once again, preparing another hammer swing. He responds, perhaps not, and grabs her hammer mid-swing, picking it up and thus holding Amy up in front of him as she clings onto it. But that is because I understand victory. And then he releases the hammer so that Amy falls upon his rising fist, knocking her backwards again as she yelps out in pain. From the side, Zaz can't help but cheer on his leader. Yeah, you go boss! Teach him never to mess with us again! <laughs> Amy tries to pick herself off the ground, wincing from the pain as she uses her hammer as a makeshift stand. Zavok strides towards her. I won't even need to use my left arm to beat you, as he tucks his left hand behind his back. He then strikes with his other, chopping the air with his hand as it misses Amy. She manages to duck under it. He swings again, crossing over from the previous arc, and Amy manages to twirl out of its way. He goes to swing her hammer in retaliation, but Zavok saw it coming and maneuvers his arm around the hammer to try and get her in the neck. Amy quickly does a backwards handstand, getting distance between Zavok and using her feet to kick his hand away, preventing his strike from hitting her. Not one to let Prey escape, Zavok dashes after her once he realizes she's moved off. His right arm swings wide as he goes for a powerful hook. Amy swings her hammer with equal viciousness, forcing Zavok to have to hit it in order to avoid taking the hit himself. Amy continues swinging at Zavok with high speed and high damage to force him to focus on her hammer rather than making any critical attacks against her body. During this trade of blows, Zavok continues to mess with Amy. Where is your team now, I wonder? Ah, wait. I know exactly where they are. Amy screams out in fury as she jumps back and starts spinning around on the spot. <laughs> Seems you've lost your nerve. Though Zavok's assessment is incorrect, Amy stops spinning all of a sudden and a gust of wind pours out from her position. Some form of tornado tears down towards Zavok catching him off guard. What? He's picked up off the ground and starts spinning around in the air within its grasp, and Amy vaults off the ground with her hammer and smashes Zavok in the head, sending him hurtling down towards the arena, cracking the surface with his body. Zavok gets up, silent and slowly, his back towards Amy Rose. Then his head snaps towards her as he blasts from his right palm a ball of fire, she manages to react in time and slides under it, smashing the ground with her hammer afterwards to launch herself high into the sky as she tries to bring her hammer down upon Zavok's head. But as she closes the gap, he grabs her hammer with his right arm. Amy naturally expected this. Using the momentum she had built up from the flip, she swings off her hammer to kick Zavok in the face. Zavok angles his head down and strikes her with his horns, knocking her back. These aren't just for show. Zavok dashes towards Amy once more, and as she goes to retaliate, he grabs her hammer arm with one hand and punches her in the gut with the other. She keels over and then gets stomped by his foot, pinning her to the ground. She looks up and tries to speak through the pain. What happened to just using one arm? Zavok leans in closer so that she can hear him better. What is a promise, if not something to be broken? And then he smashes down on her Pico Pico hammer, splintering it into bits as it breaks. The Zeti then grabs Amy by the back of the head and squeezes down, applying pressure. He lifts her up to his head height. It's a shame your blue lover isn't here to witness this, but for your fortune it gives me more of a reason to get this over with. Amy claws at Zavok's hands to no avail, but responds regardless. You're so cocky, but Shadow is going to beat you, and when he does, I don't think he's going to try and bring you back. Zavok growls, you still doubt my power? Then I'll give you a taste 
and he face slams her into the ground, knocking her out immediately. Still poised low with his hand on Amy's head, Zavok looks towards Shadow. Don't get any funny ideas, Rodent. If we do fight, it will be your last. And he gets up, throwing Amy's body behind him as she slams against the invisible arena's wall and slumps onto the floor unconscious. Shadow looks to Amy as she fades away and mutters under his breath, I promise you, revenge. Not too far besides him, Cream starts sobbing over Amy's defeat. Whisper holds out a hand towards Cream as if she were to say something, but then she hesitates and retracts her arm. Surge sees this from the side and taunts her. <laughs> What's the matter, Whisper? Not too good with kids? I'm great. Let me say some encouraging words. Whisper glares at the Tenric. Don't get near her. Oh, this wolf has some fangs. Zaz and Xena wait for Zavok's declaration of power as he rejoins them. But he simply says nothing, fuming over Amy's last bitter words. Because whether he'll admit it or not, the feats that Shadow and Sonic both displayed earlier was beyond what he had expected. With the arena clear, the end announces the next fight will be between Chaos and Whisper. Whisper checks her wisp on. The orange wisp appears before her and gives her an encouraging smile before hopping back into her weapon. To her side, Silver calls out, You've got this, Whisper. I know you're one of the best shots out there. Stay safe. Whisper gives him a nod in return and heads onto the arena. Elsewhere, Chaos is about to make his move, but then his head turns to the distance. On a hill, further away from the arena than any of the spectators, he sees something that wasn't there before. Strange, small, round beings with big eyes seem to be hopping about and spinning around, but focused on the arena. They don't seem to be part of this tournament and no one's made mention of them. But it's not Chaos's concern, and he heads to the arena himself. As he reforms himself on its surface, Whisper points her wisp on at him, and the fight commences. Chaos leads by stretching out his arms to try and grab Whisper from across the arena, but she shoots her pink wisp, using it as a buzzsaw, splintering his hands and deforming them into puddles of water. As Chaos recovers from this, it's determined a frontal assault will be required, and heads towards the wolf. He walks with a strange glide, his feet never truly leaving the surface of the floor, but sinking in and out, replicating normal stepping regardless. Whisper tries to get the initiative as she points her weapon towards him, but Chaos has already swung one of his arms to delay her assault until he gets close enough. Lurches to the side to avoid the strike, and then his next arm swings for her, sliding under that, getting in closer towards Chaos. If he wants a close range fight, he'll get one. Chaos then swings again with the previous arm, and she shoots her pink wisp to destroy it. Learning from the past, Chaos tries to sneak a hit on Whisper with his bony arm, the one imbued with the Chaos Emerald. But Whisper was paying attention to Chaos's previous match, and strikes this arm with the Blue Wisp's cube power, striking it back with blunt force, rather than trying to simply buzzsaw it. This repels Chaos's attacks long enough to where she can get right below him. Chaos looks down in order to see Whisper raise her weapon towards his head and shoot the orange rocket Wisp, causing an explosion and spraying a lot of Chaos's water into the air. It reforms quickly and she's pushed back by a pulse of energy as Chaos roars towards her, arms outstretched. It's unclear if she managed to strike the brain, but based on that reaction she wages she probably hit something important. Feeling assured that Chaos can take damage, Whisper switches up her strategy. Overall, she's a better marksman than a close quarters combatant, so she sets her weapon to Cyan's laser and aims towards the brain at this long distance. Pulling the trigger, the laser almost instantly hits its target, striking Chaos's brain as his whole body immediately deforms and collapses into a large puddle. Whisper stays focused, but it appears Chaos is done. Seeing this, Surge sighs. She had high expectations from someone that could use water to fight, but it seems this was just a washout. Back on the arena, the Chaos Emerald that pulls in the remains of Chaos begins to glow, and rises from the ground, catching Whisper's attention. 
all of a sudden, water surges around, forming a sphere of liquid, expanding out as it absorbs what remained of chaos, until the emerald itself is protected in a large shield of water. With a heavy splash, it bursts, and standing in its place is a fully reformed Chaos One. Immediately, his tail lurches from over his head and flings down, shooting a blade of pink energy towards Whisper. She only just manages to slide under it, however Chaos stretches out one of his arms and intercepts her during her evasion, grabbing her and whipping his arm back like a grapple hook. Once she's in his grasp, he slams her down into the ground, then picks her up and flings her high in the sky, ready to swing her down into the floor once more from a greater distance. Whisper shoots the arm holding her, which is not the bony one, with her pink wisp, buzz soaring it, causing it to splash and allowing her to land on her feet. Almost immediately after which, Chaos dives down onto the floor, becoming a puddle once more, but this time it's an aggressive movement. As he splashes and sploshes, every so often his body will rise out from the surface, into the air and then back into the ground, and when it does, it appears to take the form of a large mouthed shark head. It catches up to Whisper and opens wide, leaping out of the ground and consuming her. She's tossed and spun around within Chaos's watery body as he begins to reform to his humanoid shape. In order to break free, Whisper holds out her wisp on and selects the hover mode, flying out from the side of Chaos's body and into the sky. She tries to figure out what her next plan of action should be, but then Chaos leaps off from the ground, rising up to her eye level. She's shocked and stunned. She did not anticipate Chaos was capable of moving in such a fashion. Chaos swings down at her with his giant hand, knocking her into the ground, rendering her unable to fight, unconscious. He lands with a loud thud as an unsettling sound bellows out from him. Whisper begins to fade away, defeated. It would seem Chaos still has plenty of tricks to show, but that will bring us to the end of this episode of the Starfall Tournament. So thank you for watching all the way to the end. It really does help out the channel. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and share it around with your friends. With that said, I hope you have a great day, and to see you next time. This is the Mighty Emperor, signing off.